I'm Cheryl Waters. You've got it tuned to the Midday Show on listener-powered KEXP, and I am super excited to welcome Lloyd Cole to the studios today. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for inviting me. You've got all my friends on the radio. <laughs> I want to talk about that, but can you start us off with a song? I'm very excited to hear some. I hear you have new music and some older tunes for us today. I do. Let's, uh, let's start way back when. She drove her mother's car It was a dash of all I was most impressed By her casual dress I was most impressed Inside a rented room Colored deepest blue I suppose that we found some guy Happiness to fill the emptiness. We were simply wasting precious time underneath the coolest summer sky. She took her mother's car. Get away from me Heaven knows that I I can sympathize I can sympathize For we were never close If the truth were told All we ever shared Was a taste in clothes We were never close Simply losing everything Hiding from the cruelest London sun We were simply wasting precious time Simply wasting precious time Simply wasting precious time That was 2CV from 1984. So beautiful. We've got Lloyd Cole live in the KEXP studios and tonight playing at the Triple Door here in Seattle. I never get tired of hearing that voice. When did you start singing? When you... I started singing, I suppose, uh, when I was about 20. When you were younger, did you know? I mean, that's a... You have a gorgeous voice. Was that something you recognized at a young age, or you just... Uh, uh, However it sounds now, it's a little better than it was when I first started. Uh, I don't think I was a particularly talented singer when I started. I just... I, I, I knew the type of music I wanted to make, and I, and I tried. I think I started singing in a way that didn't upset me that much after I'd been doing it for about five years professionally. You've been doing it for a long time now, and you've got a new album coming out. Are you going to play a song from that for us? Sure. All right, why don't you do that first, and then I'd love to speak about it with you. Sure. This is period piece. Mama, I think that I just might have met my man Lying here in the dirt, a bunch of artifacts Ghost stations coming alive as my pulse weakens I am not afraid to die Born 1961, just like you 155,000 meters, neither straight nor true Concrete to the left of me, flowers to my right These were the best of times It was my austere demeanor to find the age Next to me, the green world greener, the gray more gray The old man came 
said, destroy this symbolism Well, welcome to my funeral West Berlin You will have guessed my name by now Oh, my chagrin These were the best of times Oh, Hansa, my lover Now where will your gaze fall now? Combat groups of the working classes Wherefore will you crowd? Western hedonists mourn my passing daily These were the best of times Inanimate I know I am and I will remain Cinder block souvenirs sold with candy cane Trade in the cabinets of the Western Union With a promise of better times Beautiful. It's Lloyd Cold live here in the KEXP studios, a song from the new album Standards. And for most of your career since the commotions, you've played as a solo acoustic performer, or maybe sometimes with others, but more of an acoustic-oriented performer. And for standards, you it's a, that's a rock and roll record. And as you mentioned earlier, you were joined by some friends who we'd love to talk about. What? Why rock and roll again now? The songs that I wrote, um, they just seem to be asking for it. And I don't really get to choose the songs I write. I get to choose whether I do anything with them or not, but I, I write them. And coincidentally, around about the same time, I had just been asked by Salon.com to review Dylan's album Tempest. And the feeling I came away with after doing it was that he's got no idea how old he is. I don't think he knows how old he is. If he asked him, he'd probably say I'm probably 60-something. And, um, and I think it's possible that in the last 10 or 15 years, I may have been focusing maybe a little too much on, on what type of music would be age appropriate. And maybe I thought that making rock and roll music wasn't age appropriate anymore. I've always been haunted by that image of Joe Strummer when he got the mohawk when it was too late. It was just the saddest thing. Um, so I just thought, well, what, what would happen if I you know, if I if I didn't worry about what was age appropriate, and, and and this is what happened. Was it fun? It was, yeah. It was a lot of fun. I mean, it was making a record. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. There's a, there's a lot of work as well. I had my son playing on the record, and and and, and that was about fifty fifty. That was quite tough because I I didn't want it, the experience to be traumatic or unpleasant for him. But at the other hand, I had to get the best out of him. Does he want to make a career in music as well? He's, he's starting on his own, yeah. The, the reason he's on the record is he was already making his own music. He's a, he's a great musician. Actually, if, uh, while I'm here on the radio, if, if anybody sees a, a white, Gretsch, country gentleman, it was stolen from my son's band when he was here in Seattle last time. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. We don't want that to be his memory <laughs> of Seattle. I noticed uh, seeing that you two had gone out on the road together. You spend a lot of time on the road. Is it fun to go out with your son? It was really good fun. He's uh, his take on 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 entertaining is quite different to mine. I'd be tuning the guitars in, in between songs, and he'd be saying, "Is everybody having a good time?" And I'd be saying, "That's not. We don't say that in my family. We don't say is everybody having a good time." <laughs> so you know, we, we, yeah, we had a, a nice little bit of shtick going on together. He got, he got in trouble in Germany a few times. He, he won't do that again. Well, speaking of having a good time, you surrounded yourself, as you mentioned earlier, with some friends when making this album. And I, I played a couple of those leading into this set. But can you talk about some others besides your son that played with you on this record? Sure. I mean, when I decided to make a rock and roll record, I thought, well, what's the best rhythm section I've worked with? And it, it was Fred Marr and Matthew Sweet uh, on the first couple of solo records I made in the early 90s. I'm not sure a lot of people know who have gone on to become huge Matthew Sweet fans, but that was some of his earliest performing, right? He was, uh, he came out and actually played bass on, on my first solo record. Um, and then he came out on tour with me. He didn't want to play bass. He, he, played, he played guitar and he had to actually 
pull out of the second half of the tour uh, because uh, he was making girlfriend. Um, yeah, so we yeah we saw a lot of each other. I actually I titled girlfriend. Oh. He kept he was he forever kept singing looking for a good friend and I said for heaven's sake Matthew it's, you mean girlfriend just get on with it. <laughs> well, he's a sweetheart and uh, standards such a great record and you are playing songs from that today acoustic and I'm wondering is it difficult to figure it out for an acoustic? Some of it is, yeah. Uh, some of it I haven't yet to be able to work out. But, you know, sometimes it takes me years to figure out how to play a song on acoustic guitar. Well, you've got a lot to choose from while you, while you spend that time figuring it out. <laughs> you, you generally play songs from almost all your records when you, when you tour. I try to. I mean, I try, I try to make the, the show to be about the body of work uh, rather than the latest album. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of a bias towards that as these songs that hadn't been played before. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's fun having a, a body of work like this because I don't have to play the same songs every night. And I can, if a song's been getting a little, I don't know, a little tired feeling, I can rest it for a year or so and then bring it back and try and find a new way to play it. Well, Lloyd Cole is playing tonight at the Triple Door. And how about another song? Sure. <laughs> Drinking tea, I'm taking unpaid leave from my women's studies, uh huh. Out here in the meadow, where the people's history of America. I smoke a pie for Johnny 99, bipartisan consensus. Keeping it dry, nothing flighty. On orders from my therapist. We were young. And it was fine while it lasted To complete my education I had to wake up in your bathtub Oh, those Monday morning quarters I grew so accustomed to I've seen enough, I've made my recommendations my work here is finished Your powers of reduction Remain strangely undiminished Yes, you In your hushed tones With your campus etiquette If we cannot speak of nothing Well then a nothing should keep her mouth shut We were young and we were stupid And it was fine while it lasted Yes, I wrote my dissertation On the bar stools of your neighborhood But the bars were filled with lawyers Filing action two by two Through the valley of the women That I am not married to All oh, were these riches here The spoils of my retreat rooms and bachelor's degree It's a penguin classic scene A broken spine and faded green Trying to relocate my arms around a memory I'm drinking tea, I'm taking unpaid leave from my women's studies, uh-huh Hiding up here in the library with the Great Wall of China If Joseph K. was from Edinburgh and fast product from Prague Well, that could be kind of funny or maybe not funny at all We were young and it was fine while it lasted. Wow, that song is long. <laughs> Not too long for me. It's Lloyd Cole live here in the KEXP studios. We're so delighted to have you here today. Tonight you play at the Triple Door here in Seattle. 
you have legions of fans and my social media lit up when I mentioned that you were going to be in studio today and you have an impressive communication or connection with your fans a lot of that online and it's you're connected with them more than just about like the shows that you're playing or the records that you've put if out. If they want to know what I think about the football score from last <laughs> week, they they just need to follow me on Twitter. Um, yeah, you know, I, I I moved to Western Massachusetts in 1999 when it had a sort of major label fallout, and I had a couple of years where I had two albums that I'd already recorded and trying to figure out how to get them released. I didn't need to make any more music, so I learned how to build websites. I, I built well. I, I learned how to build my website uh, and yeah I've been sort of active with it ever since uh, I noticed that it's evolved quite a bit it has it's time. actually broken right now <laughs> <laughs> Some, it, yeah, I can't log in to update it so we're, we're actually building version 3 right now and it should be launched sometime in the next month or so you're also working on releasing some archival material I understand we are it's been it's been a pretty huge job uh, going through the uh, tape libraries in London um there's a commotions box set coming out, which has uh, got the, f- the three albums we made, Rattlesnakes and Easy Pieces have been properly remastered. Rattlesnake sounds better than it's ever sounded. And there's all the B-sides we ever did, and there's a whole album of demos and outtakes, the Paris recordings with Chris Thomas, the London recordings with Stuart Copeland, all the stuff that had never been heard before so there's about 15 unreleased tracks and a whole bunch of videos most of which are terribly embarrassing but quite fun that's exciting you know. you've certainly been keeping very busy uh, it's been it's been such a huge job and it's been exhausting and it's listening to the rattlesnakes tapes did make it worthwhile though it, it was it was worth it with all that going on now it makes me wonder when when did you actually make standards uh let's see it came out in europe uh in the middle of 2013, we mixed it. So I started, uh, I did the basic tracks in L.A. Uh, November 2012. Oh, so that, a bit a while ago. Yeah. So these songs have been with you for a little while. Yeah, but they're, uh, other than one or two, they're all relatively newly written songs. They're wonderful. Lloyd Cole live here in the KEXP studios. Do you have time for one more? Sure. Or two? <laughs> <laughs> Never enough. <laughs> Looking like a born again, living like a heretic, listening to Arthur Lee records, making all your friends feel so guilty about their cynicism. And the rest of their generation, not even the government, are gonna stop you now. But are you ready to be heartbroken? Are you ready to be heartbroken? up full of vitamins on account of all the seriousness you say that you're so happy now you can hardly stand lean over on the bookcase and if you really want to get straight read Norman Mailer get a new tale are you ready to be heartbroken are you ready to be heartbroken Ready to bleed. What would it take? What would it take to wipe that smile off of your face? Are you ready to bleed? Are you ready to bleed? Blues. Louise is a girl 
I know her well, she's up on the pavement Yeah, she's a weather girl And I'm staying up here So I may be undone She's inappropriate But then she's much more fun And When she smiles my way My eyes go out in vain She's got perfect skin Shame on you, you got no sense of grace Shame on me, uh-huh Just in case I might come to a conclusion Other than that which is absolutely necessary And that's perfect skin Louise is the girl with a perfect skin She says turn on the light Otherwise it might get seen She's got cheekbones like geometry And eyes like sin And she's sexually enlightened by Cosmopolitan who isn't When she smiles my way My eyes go out in vain Toward her perfect skin Up eight flights of stairs To a basement flat Pretty confused, huh? Being shipped around like that Seems we climb so high Now we're down so low Strikes me the moral of this song Must be than ever has been one Thank you so much. Lloyd Cole live here in the KEXP studios, and you can go on a musical adventure with him tonight at the Triple Door here in Seattle. We're so happy you made it to Seattle, <laughs> by the way. You had some inclement weather that almost didn't have you arrive. Yeah, I had to leave very, very early the day before I was scheduled to leave. Otherwise, yeah, I probably wouldn't be here. Well, at least you got a day to rest up. Indeed. Cheers. Thank you so much. It's Lloyd Cole live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.